This year we had six dance students that were paired with 12 film students at A.D. Miller High School and together they were asked to make a collaborative dance video project set on the grounds of the Malou Foundation, responding to their history, ethos, architecture. We did a run through on campus where they storyboarded everything. They checked in with each other, they created shot lists. Today is day two, uh, their final day of filming. Next week they'll be getting together and editing the final piece and entering it into our film festival that we have at our high school. This is my first time working with dancers and I'm very excited to edit this, I'm excited to shoot it, I'm excited to work with the dancer, seeing her creativity and my creativity go together and just work so good. During quarantine actually, a lot of our BTEC season stuff was through dance films. So I'm used to like me and like a camera, so just only two um, equations basically. So adding like other people into it was a new experience. It was cool to like bounce ideas off of people. It was definitely challenging at first because at uh, first it was like, oh, I get a little bit nervous with, like when I'm in cameras, especially because they were like really being close to me. But after a while, you get used to it and it's really, it's really fun. <laughs> it has to be a dance film. It's in this environment and we have to put the two together and you got to work with people who know about dance and you have to share what you know about filmmaking and, and then watch the, night, the process happen, so. This is the one for sure. I've just been super excited to partner with Home LA again in this way. Uh, we come together with them, they provide a resident artist, Sam Moore, began working with our students talking about how to create work in a site-specific place. We were able to come to the Maloof Gardens and actually tour Sam and Alfreda Maloof's home to get a sensibility about what art making meant to them. And then finally just coming out to the space and being able to decide where the students were going to film and then further collaborating with our film students in terms of shots and deciding what the work should look like and what it should communicate on film. You could keep it on me and I'm gonna walk towards the log and like, now you're going to come out this way and I'm going to do the same movement. So my dance film is about mental health. I had my own struggles with mental health. I want to portray through my film that mental health is important. It's just as important as your physical being. One of my sites that I chose was the circle with a tree. The circle to me represented this process of repetition and everything you do, no matter how many times you do it, you're not able to get yourself out of this dark space. I was inspired by Sam and how he built his home and how everything just had intention and purpose. So with my life experience, I've had to move a lot in the recent years and how I've just learned to adapt and overcome certain challenges that came with it. So basically my piece is like these different pathways and each one is a progression. Just being able to be in a place that's so peaceful, but then also to be able to present, uh, present to students that you can make a living making art, for me that's really incredible. Honestly, just being out in nature, I feel like a lot of the times, like we as people, we're just so consumed and like our phones are like our everyday responsibilities. So being able to just be out here and like feel the sun and like listen to the birds, feel the wind, it's just really great. You get to feel the space around you. It's a whole different environment. It's not like taking a class. I for sure would like to do another one. I definitely would like to do another one. It's really fun.